When we started catering to this community, we were actually surprised at how ignorant, even as pharmacists, we were about this condition. Uh, Pox is one of the components of dysautonomia. What happens with dysautonomia is your autonomic function in your body is not, you know, functioning properly. For instance, when a person rises and stands up, it is a natural tendency that all your body fluids will gravitate towards, you know, by gravity will fall down and go towards your, you know, feet or extremities. In a normal person with a perfect autonomic nervous system, your body recognizes that, that your fluids are moving below your brain heart level. It starts constricting these vessels, regulating the blood pressure and pushing the fluids up. So your brain gets the electrolytes and the supplements, whatever it needs, you know, uh, the blood flow, the oxygen, everything. When your autonomic system fails, your, your body doesn't recognize that, hey, the fluid is moving down to, because you rose up due to gravity. So you're, you're depriving your brain of, you know, the necessary, um, you know, oxygen and nutrients. You have to do something to increase the fluid or raise the volume so your blood doesn't fog. Like that's one of the reasons why there is a, you know, brain fog in, in, uh, in uh, people who have this condition. Not too long ago, um, NYU did a study uh, comparing ORSs up against um, IV use, like for normal saline uh, with uh, a pediatric patient group. And to sum it all up, uh, the results that they had over there with their team was that the oral rehydration salts, the ORSs, actually fared better than uh, IV. As pharmacists, we know it's better to take your medications orally if possible and let your body use them if it's uh, feasible and if it's in the form that your body can break down. And that's where uh, we are very uh, happy with just seeing some of the results and some of uh, how the patients reacted when you compared that to each other. And as far as we know, NYU actually used Normalite in their clinical studies.